Hi everyone, welcome to New Bear. Today's super quick video is to show you how I measure my bare thread spaces. Yes, you can simply eyeball it, but if you're a bit of a control nut like I am and you'd like to be sure your bare thread spaces are consistent, then you might like to measure it. To measure a bare thread space, place your pico gauge up to the base of the first ring. Hold that in your pinch. Wrap your hand for the next ring. Bring the first half of your double stitch right up against the other side of your gauge. Secure it with the second half. And now we can finish out our ring. You see our bare thread space measures the width of our gauge. If your bare thread space is quite long, you can do it exactly the same way. Use a piece of card to measure your width. An old tissue box or cereal box work quite well. Hold that up against the side. First stitch up to the edge. And finish out your ring. The other thing you can do is use an erasable marker to pop a dot on your thread. This works well, especially if the length of the card is making it tricky for you to hold on to everything. These are used in sewing to put temporary marks on fabric. They're available online and from most craft stores. They'll be in the dressmaking and quilters section. So there are three types of um, erasable markers. Ones with rubbers, ones that wash out in water and air erasable ones. I prefer the air erasable markers um, because it literally just disappears. I don't have to do anything to use your marker. Measure the length that you want your bare thread space to be. Place your thread on the marks. Cross your thread at that, at that mark and bring your first stitch down to there. And finish out your ring. and you'll have lovely, even bare thread spaces. See you next time.